Hello, everybody. My name is David Fuchsler. I'm from the marketing department, and I'm joined by Frank today, who is celebrating 30 years here at Harford Mutual. How does it feel, Frank? Uh, thanks, David. It's it's uh, quite strange to be here, say I've been here for 30 years. So I'm happy about it, but it is uh, hard to believe at the same time. So yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's a pretty surreal moment. Could you describe one of your favorite times here at Harford Mutual for me? Yeah, gosh, over 30 years, there's so, so many. But, you know, one of the things that always sticks out to me was probably my very first board meeting, uh, give it give a presentation in front of the board. And I'm talking about the direction of the claims department at the time and what I thought we needed to do for the future. And I made a comment about the the aging base of uh, adjusters out in the field that we had used. And one of the directors said, well, what exactly is do you consider aging? You know, because I was, you know, fairly new at the time, probably, you know, around 30 ish. And, and, you know, he was he was laughing at it. So it was it made me feel better about it. But, uh, you know, he never let me forget that. But I, <laughs> he tried to always suggest that I, I tried to call him old. So that was uh, actually a, a favorite moment of mine because it made me realize, you know, you know, you think the board of directors, well, they're just people too. I just got a good laugh out of that. So, yep. Yeah, very, very true. Everybody at the core is a, a person. So, you know, it's, it's, it's good to remember that sometimes. Exactly. Yep. And then what do you remember from your very first day? Uh, gosh, I, I remember two things. One was from my very first day. I just noticed how quiet it was. It was like, I mean, it was like a library upstairs. I, you know, I started out in in uh, underwriting, so it was uh, I was upstairs, and, and it was just absolute silence. I mean, it was really quiet. It was sort of eerie. And then the other thing was, you know, as many people who have been around for a while know, I'm not exactly a morning person. So uh, on my second day, when I got here, back in those days, we had a little punch uh, code mm -hmm. lock on the door, and the code would blank out at 8.30. So if you came in after 8.30, you had to come through the front lobby to, I guess, announce that you were late. So I, <laughs> of course, on my second day, I got here at about 8.32 and, and uh, was told, you know, we don't do that here. You know, we, we, we get here by 8.30. So that was a, a quick wake up call, but obviously it didn't work too well. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then what had over the years? Uh, gosh, a lot's changed, obviously, because I've when I first started out, I started out as, uh, like I said, in underwriting as a loss control inspector B was my first title. And I was sort of a trainee. And then I moved down to claims after uh, the first 14 months. I've, so I was in claims from January of 1992 all the way up until last year. And, uh, you know, I just slowly progressed through claims, handling all sorts of claims and managing and, and being the claims officer for a long time. So, uh, you know, a lot has changed. I picked up other responsibilities over over the time, the administrative services and now customer service and, and the building and the fleet and things like that. So I've pretty much done it, done it all at this company, except for accounting and marketing, which were actually the two areas that I actually had experience in coming in, my, my degree and then my limited experience in the in the summers working uh, while I was in college, so. Wow, so I guess, yeah, you picked up a lot of responsibilities over the years, and uh, do you have any ones that like stood out to you in particular that you really liked? Well, I just like the fact that, that uh, you know, I, I just appreciate the opportunity to make this building, you know, even, even more special and iconic than it already is. From the outside, it's always been sort of an iconic landmark here in Bel Air, but it's it's nice to be able to, you know, upgrade the inside and make it more, you know, fitting of uh, where we're going as a company and uh, just more comfortable and just a, just a better overall place for the employees. Definitely. Yeah. It's always nice, you know, as an employee, when you get to come to a great place, you know, to work and, you know, it looks nice on the inside and it's, it's always, you know, it's an uplifting experience overall. Exactly. That's, and that's what we're trying to do. If if you would uh, could have seen it thirty years ago when I walked walked in for the first time versus today, it, it is night and day, and and I would say, obviously it's it's for the better. So yeah, definitely. 
And then what's one of your proudest achievements here at Hartford Mutual? Um, that's, that's a tough question. You know, from the personal side, obviously proud achievements are the, you know, the personal achievements like getting my CPCU and becoming an officer and some of the uh, awards I've won out for doing stuff in the community. But I think from more of a corporate standpoint, you know, my proudest accomplishments are just being able to see some of the, the people that I've brought into this company sort of like I was at the time, you know, fairly new, fresh out of college, maybe a year or two of experience in the workforce and see them now being here 10 and 12 and 15 years and things like that and developing a career and uh, just seeing their families grow and expand and, and just see them uh, making a good career out of it and, and just improving the quality of uh, the services that we provide at the company all while, you know, being able to, you know, have a good solid job and, and being respected for what they do. Definitely. Yeah, that's, that's, that's awesome. And um, the last question is, what would you say to anybody considering Hartford Mutual as a potential employer? Well, as, as uh, somebody that's hired a lot of people here, you know, I, that's a pretty easy question because I say it all the time. You know, it's it's uh, it is a job. You know, I, I tell people that when you're, you're applying for a job, so every day is not going to be your best day. You're going to have a rough day from time to time, but the one thing that you can't say is that this is a bad place to work. I mean, it's a very caring company. The people are great. Uh, everybody gets along. Uh, it's it's a very supportive company, and you know I, I think it really does show that we really have a very strong team that works together as opposed to, uh, you know, it's, it's real critical of each other, or tries to step on each other to move ahead, that kind of thing. It's, it's, it really is a team environment for a company that really, you know, supports the community and really lives, you know, by the words that we preach with the objectives and the goals that we have set as a company. I, I would definitely agree with that. Well, Frank, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. And again, congratulations on 30 years. Uh, it's an awesome milestone. Uh, congratulations. All right. Thank you, David. I appreciate it and, and take care.